Welcome back to the Brian Crumby Radio Hour on Saga 960. I want to just close up the conversation with Imran Hassan on uh, Peel Crime Stoppers with, I think, the topic that, uh, you know, in addition to Peel Crime Stoppers and how beneficial that organization is, and Imran Hussain and how wonderful that gentleman is and what a contribution to the community he makes. But this other topic that we talked about, which is, you know, social capital, civic capital, uh, involvement in your community, which I think has been in decline. Uh, and I think that uh, one of the big negatives of COVID-19 is that we have lost a lot of those connections in society. I think uh, businesses have uh, have been harmed by the lack of connectivity. Uh, we've tried through Zoom, through Teams, through WebExes, through uh, FaceTime, through other things to stay connected to people. Um, and to a certain extent, I think that people have been productive. Uh, and I think people can continue to be productive in some sort of a hybrid kind of uh, environment because I don't think you need to be connected with other people all the time. You need some quiet time to yourself to get work done, to contemplate, to think, et cetera. But I do think we need to interact. Um, I've really missed social interaction. Uh, I get a lot of interaction through my radio show uh, and interviewing a lot of interesting people, which I've really quite enjoyed and has keep me um, alive and uh, and 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 enjoying life uh, through COVID-19. But we need to interact with people face-to-face -face in real life. Uh, we need to see body language. We need to hug. We need to shake hands. We need to squeeze arms. We need to kiss. Uh, we need to appreciate each other. And we've lost uh, some of that. Um, you know, it's interesting, I think, that back at the end of the Great Recession, um, it was interesting, both Obama and McGinty, Obama, the president of the United States, and McGinty, the premier of Ontario, had uh, sort of the, the speech from the throne uh, in the United States and uh, sort of a, a big uh, um, budget address or something like that in Ontario. And they both said similar lines about how after this Great Recession do we get um, ideas, uh, goods, and people moving again. And I think that's an interesting, really interesting question. And I think we need to ask it again. So I think that, you know, supply chains have been an issue. Um, uh, inflation has been an issue. Uh, and so getting goods moving again is, uh, is, you know, a lot of the things that we're doing from an economic standpoint. Getting people moving again, I think, is... Uh, is training, is human resources, is recruiting, is uh, is education, um, you know, all those things that we know. But how do you get ideas moving again? Creativity moving again. New ideas that create innovation, that create new opportunities, create new businesses, create new wealth, create technologies, create new healthcare. And I think you get new ideas by people interacting because ideas don't come from nowhere. Uh, they don't pop in your head. Sometimes maybe they do, but I think the vast majority of the times they they are based on the interaction between different people. There was a famous academic in uh, in Britain that actually called it idea sex, which I thought was intriguing, because what he said is that ideas need to to meet, they need to get to know each other, they need to mutate, they need to mix up, they need to um, reproduce, sort of like sex. And uh, and I think that's what happens when really interesting people get together and interact and interact, not just through computers, um, through the Internet, but in real life, over coffee, over dinners. Yes, in boardrooms, in conversations. Uh, and often those ideas happen in the most unexpected uh, places. Steve Jobs talked about how some of the best ideas he got were when he was out walking with someone and chatting with someone. And those were the best meetings that he ended up having with people. I've had other people talk about, uh, you know, how um, they've got to get their uh, their group into a social setting. Uh, I, uh, I, I read a quote once that the best ideas come from uh, – coffee shops on the main floors rather than the boardrooms on the top floors, because that's where people let their guards down and really talk and understand other people. So I think we need to get out there and we need to get out there in the community. We need to get involved in the community. Imran Hussain is a great example of that. Uh, I think we need to, uh, to interact with other people and it's good for business. It's good for our own social attitudes. It's uh, great for uh, community benefit. And I think it's great for us. And so if I could leave you with anything, and I think, again, Imran Hussain is an incredible example of this because he's out in the community with Peel Crime Stoppers, with food banks, with his Christmas uh, uh, Santa breakfasts, uh, with uh, Mr. Sarga Arts Council running for politics. The man is out there all the time. But there's numerous other people that are like that. And I think they're they're better for it and we're better for it and the community is better for it. 
social capital, interactions with other people, civic capital, whatever you want to call it. Get out there and be part of your community and interact with people. Get to know people and build a better society. Thanks for joining us. Have a great uh, evening. I remind you, on I'm on every Monday through Friday at 6 o'clock on 960 AM. You can stream me online at www.saga960am.ca. All my podcasts and video casts are available after the fact at briancrombie.com. I post all my videos on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and, uh, and all my podcasts are on Apple, Audible, and Speakeasy. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening.